start off by uh, telling me about your you know experience and takeaways from your time in India and you know UNICEF's work here basically. Uh, to be honest, I've been. Uh, waiting for a long time to come to India. Uh, I can't believe I've never been here before, but this is my first time and one that I was really looking forward to. Um, obviously, my work with UNICEF began a long time ago when I was probably 17 years old with Manchester United in Thailand. And um, I then became global ambassador in 2015. Um, and a lot's happened since then, you know, different field trips around the world. Uh, um, and the field trips is what I enjoy most. This is the first field trip that I've been on uh, since COVID. So it was a really important one for many reasons. Um, obviously, where our focus is now uh, with UNICEF, we focus on obviously boys and girls, but our main focus is on girls at the moment. And that's what we're focused on on this trip. So. It's been an incredible experience so far. Uh, I was obviously in Gujarat, uh, which was uh, an incredible experience. And the people of Gujarat were, were amazing uh, to me. Um, but I visited many different things um, so far in two days. And the experience has been incredible. You know, obviously going to the Gujarat um, University, meeting young innovators um, and young kids that were 14 years old, 16 years old, 19 years old, all coming up with these incredible inventions that can make change. And, and that was an incredible thing to see for me, you know, a 14 year old young boy coming up with an invention that, um, that was all about reminding his grandparents to take their medication on time. And, and there's things like that that are, you know, going to make a huge change. So. My experience so far has been incredible. I met some amazing young girls yesterday that were part of a program that obviously UNICEF uh, hugely support. Um, and to see the progression is pretty incredible, you know, but then there's still a lot more to be done. And that's part of my trip and one of the reasons why I'm here. And, uh